What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Go ahead and push that and show your support for the channel. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews. Glad you came to see me, my friends. So, it's that time again, week 11. Weekly fragrance rotation. Let's get into it. So, starting off on Sunday was one that I have been meaning to give a wearing. I have the non-intense version. So on Sunday, I went with the intense version. Alt Fragrances, Crystal Intense. Supposed to smell very similar to the x version of Baccarat Rouge 540. The scent profile's there. The longevity is not. The projection is moderate. But the scent's there. It smells very, very close but it in, in no way shape or form performs the same but like i said the scent's very very good very very close not quite one to one but about as close to one to one as it gets and that was on sunday and then later that evening it's uh as you know i shave on sundays and um i actually forgot to grab now that i'm mentioning it uh genre parfums shears is what I've been using lately. Um, have a new one I'm gonna be trying out this Sunday, tonight. But uh, after, because I use my daily beard wash as every man Jack Sandalwood, so I went ahead and I guess you could call it layering in a sense because I went with every man Jack Sandalwood, the fragrance, after I showered. Because anytime I use shears from Genre Parfums, the fragrance on it is very weak, so it fades pretty fast, so I can spray whatever. When I wear Zahar off, that aftershave balm um, I smell like Zahara for quite a while, so that's pretty much what I'm wearing. But, Sunday evening, Everyman Jack, Sandalwood. Moving into Monday. So Monday was another one of those suit and tie type of days. So, uh, I went with something very sweet, very powdery, very floral, very lipsticky. Dior Homme. Intense. It's great fragrance right here, guys. Absolutely love this one. So glad I got a big old bottle. Speaking of Dior Homme Intense, I did go on the French website for Dior yesterday and saw the new, the new way they're printing it on the bottles. Um, so yeah, they, I saw Dior Homme Original, so we're clear on that. Still have Dior Homme Intense. And uh, they changed the, the font and the way it is on Dior Homme Sport and Dior Homme Cologne, but... Tell you what, I'm glad I grabbed them just in case because I did get five ounce bottles of all the ones that were available, especially O, because five ounce bottles of O are harder to come by right now. But on Monday, absolutely enjoyed wearing this with my suit and tie, the old Roman tents. And then I went from something not so cheap to something really, really cheap. Doral Collection, Twilight Wilderness, a cheap synthetic version of Sauvage compliments of my buddy Miguel uh, he had gave this to me when we met up months ago and uh, once in a blue moon I'll spray it and wear it and it does smell like Sauvage don't get me wrong but it smells like the cheapest most synthetic version of Sauvage and by all means it is that but it's crisp it's sharp like I said it's just a cheaper Sauvage is all, all it is not one not something that I like to wear out and about really um, all Farouche was the last time I wore a Sauvage type fragrance because uh, since I started my new job, I, under I understand now that I can't wear Sauvage stuff because, or Sauvage in general, because everybody over there wears freaking Sauvage. It's, it's mind blowing to me. So I'm going to put that right there. So Twilight Wilderness. Actually, we're going to slide these back. What you think? Make a little room in the front. And then on Tuesday, I actually did a full review on Tuesday of this. Tuesday was my 35th birthday. Um, those of you that reached out to me said happy birthday. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I don't wear solids all the time, but the ones I do have are damn good. They're both made by E.J. Wells and Happy Land Studios. This is in collaboration with Zaharoff. This is Zaharoff Signature Pour Own. Solid. This is good stuff right here. It lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. You lose a little bit of the top note because it's been made into a solid. Let's see if I can get it to focus where you can see the swirls. Nah, oh well. But very, very good. They are available on George's website. 
Um, if you click the link down below to order Zaharoff Signature Pour Home, this is actually the free gift you're getting right now. It used to be a travel size atomizer. Now, the solid is the free gift that you get by clicking the TLTG link in the description below. So, I don't get any kickbacks. It's just something cool that he set up with me, you know, and I appreciate it. It's a cool little, cool little deal. You get a little solid as a free gift just for purchasing through the link. So, on Tuesday, Zaharoff Signature Pour Home Solid, and then later that evening, Kind of went opposite end of the spectrum. I went with something powdery, T-note, kind of relaxing, calming. That's really what I wear this for. I don't really wear it casually. Some nights I just need it to calm me down, smooth me out, and wind me down. And this one's great for that, and you can get it cheap. Cesaro Chrome United. This is a very good fragrance for that. It's, very, it's musky, it's powdery and creamy. It's very soft. Very mellow, very relaxing, in my opinion. One that's definitely worth getting. You can get a 50 ml like this for $15. That's what I paid for this 50 ml. 100 ml, you can get around 20, 25 ish at the most. Very, very good fragrance. Worth trying for sure. So that was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Moving on into Wednesday. Busted out the suit and tie again, and one that you normally Typically wouldn't expect me to wear with a suit and tie, but I mean, I've been wearing a suit and tie most of the time, so just about everything I'm wearing is going with a suit and tie. So, that day I actually went with one that I haven't been given a lot of wear, and it was time. Very enjoyable, very similar to Stronger With You. Just Stronger With You is a little bit better, if I'm going to be honest. Yves Saint Laurent, L'Homme L'Intense, also known as L'Homme Parfum Intense. Same fragrance. It was a rebranding. Re very, very, very good fragrance. Very good for the cold weather. Very ambery. I don't really get a lot of the original loam in it. As it dries down, you kind of get the original loam's DNA, but the opening and the transition to the dry down, it's kind of doing its own thing. It's a very ambery, sweet fragrance. Works very well in the cold. And one that doesn't really get talked about much, kind of gets overlooked, lost in the fray, if you will. So I really enjoyed wearing that one. And then later that night, I actually have a haul video I have to do for some fragrances I ordered. I'm waiting on the rest of them to come in. So I do have a full-size bottle of this now, but it actually came in this day. That's what made me want to wear it out of the sample. My sample of Diorum Sport, the 2017 formulation. Yes, I do have a 125 ml bottle now. Uh, we'll cover that in a couple of days. Uh, I have a bunch more packages coming in tomorrow, and that's pretty much all of them. And I'll be able to do a haul video like Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe Monday night and release it Tuesday. I don't know. We'll see. But the Arum Sport. Another one that doesn't, you don't really hear a whole lot of people talk about, aside from when it initially came out. That's when all the reviews were done. You don't really see it in a lot of lists, uh, a lot of recommendations or anything. But I think it's great for being a non-Iris Diorum. I tell you, <clears throat> it's very good. The blood orange, it's it's sharp. There's a little nutmeg you can smell in it, spicing it up a little bit, and then it's very sharp cedar in it, uh, creamy from the sandalwood. It's it's very good. Lasts a very long to perform. It surprises me on this one. Um, the Arm Sport, I, I really really enjoy it. Put that right there, and then moving into Thursday. So this is another one. Um, I still need to review. I wrote down all my notes. I just need to shoot the video. Um, one that people love, people hate. It's kind of the polar, one of the polarizing fragrances from this men's product house. Um, some of you may be surprised. That it's kind of meh for me. It's not the greatest fragrance in the world, but it's not terrible either. It's from Cremo. It's bourbon and oak. It's okay. Performs pretty well, very synthetic, uh, not my favorite from the line for sure, but not my least favorite either. Um, I will, once that video gets up and running, obviously it'll get released, but for right now, all my thoughts are written down, review is, my thoughts are, are written down for the review, I just, like I said, I just gotta shoot it, and it's just, it's kinda hectic, things coming in, the way I'm working, I'm trying to get these videos out to you guys, I, I really am, but one that I'm not going to go out on a limb and say I really enjoyed wearing. It was more of a chore to wear this one because I wasn't really enjoying the way I was smelling. 
like I said, it don't stink. It's not awful. It's not the worst fragrance, you know. It's not terrible. It's not, not even the worst one from the house. But it's just not really that great to where I'm going to reach for it over and over and over. So this one will probably just sit on the shelf. Cremo, bourbon, and oak. And then later that evening, one that I like much more than Cremo, bourbon, and oak. Oak. Got out the shower that night. Nautica Voyage Heritage. Another one of my Nautica Freshies. You know how I feel about those. They're just so good. I absolutely, you can't go wrong with a Nautica, fra Nautica fragrance getting out the shower. And then moving on to Friday. Now this, outside of, ah, it's, it's kind of a three-way tie for my favorite for the week. Because I really, really like this fragrance. And it don't get, outside of me, I don't really see who anybody else really talking about it. Everybody talks about the Intense. And I like this one better than Intense. It's Bentley for Men. This is a great fragrance. This is a really, really great fragrance. It's a little spicier, a little bit boozier. No, it's not real smoky. It's not as raw of leather. It's not heavy of leather. It's not as woody as the Intense. This one's more wearable. This one's spicier. You know I love spicy fragrances. This one's right up my alley. And you can get this one cheaper than the Intense. If you can get the Intense for 26 to 30 bucks, you can get this one for 22 to 25. Not much cheaper, but cheaper nonetheless. And in my opinion, this is the better fragrance. I absolutely love the original Bentley for Men. Put him right here. And then later that night, the one, the only, the repetitive fragrance on the list every week, Nautica Classic. Tried and true, my favorite out the shower fragrance. Ah, it's so good. You can get it so cheap. $10, $9, $11, 100 ml. It's worth every penny, in my opinion. And then finally on Saturday, on game day, another suit and tie type of situation. I did not go super heavy. So you don't really need to. It's projection, not a strong suit. Longevity is. Scent quality is. It's from Blue de Chanel. I mean, I'm sorry, it's from Chanel. It's Blue de Chanel Parfum. My favorite of the line. I want to say I did one, two, three, four, five and then a half spray on the front. So five and a half sprays, I guess you could say. Another one. Gotten all my notes written down. I've just, I've been needing to shoot the video for it. Oh, that's beautiful though. God, it's so good. It's, it's not cheap. This is $150 retail for 100 ml. It's, for designer, it's an expensive designer fragrance. It really is. Oh, but it's so good. Absolutely love this. And then later that night, Three days in a row, we went Nautica. Nautica Blue Sale. Cannot go wrong with these Nautica fragrances. I'm telling you, I can hold this one. It don't weigh nothing. This is Snug Fist, a little half ounce. Absolutely love these fragrances. Nautica, Nautica, Nautica. I always suggest that for if you like spraying something aquatic and fresh, out the shower. When I think out the shower, I think Nautica fragrances. But until next time, guys, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. What'd you wear this week? I know one person in particular is going to put his weekly rotation in the comments. Uh, Dragon Ball fan. Oh, dang, I don't have it right here. I was going to say, because what I'm about to do after I get this video out to you guys, I wanted to show the case. I actually show a picture of it right there. I just got this bad boy in. That's what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Can't wait. I started playing it a little bit last night before bed. I, I really needed to go to sleep, so I shut it down. I did start the adventure. Let's see how good of a game is it. Some of you out there are friends, fans of the Dragon Ball uh, series. I'm a big, gigantic, have been most of my life fan of the Dragon Ball universe. And uh, long overdue game. So RPG elements basic fighting system that's easy to pick up and hard to master i'm excited so i will leave you with this if you get your hands on some of these and you give them a spray now especially stuff like blue de chanel bentley the oral intense it's a good chance you'll thank me later have a good one guys